Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to another SwiftUI 3 slash iOS 15 video. As of the date of the recording right now, all of this can only be done in the Xcode beta, which you can download on developer.apple.com if you have a developer account. And in a few months, it will also be available in regular Xcode once the new macOS version ships. Okay, so creating a search field actually got insanely easy. Let me just show you how it's done by providing a simple example. So let's say I have a list here and in the list I have a for each which just goes over let's say 50 numbers, grabs the number here and then just has a text field with the number inside. Let me remove the typo here. All right, and on the right hand side here you can see pretty straightforward you all know this syntax already. Let's actually wrap this list. Let's uh, embedded in a navigation view. Okay, let's also give the list a navigation title of let's say test list. All right, preview automatically updates. And now to add a search bar, there's just one single modifier that you need to add, and that's to your list dot searchable. Okay, we need to provide a binding here. So let's create that, add state var search string, let's initialize it to be an empty string and let's just bind to the search string here. Let's resume the preview, alright, on first glance nothing changes but if I hit play then the search bar appears and as you would expect from iOS it gets hidden between the navigation view and the content of it. Once I tap into it then you have this um, very native feeling style which is also already available in UIKit for quite some time but now it's also available in Swift UI. and now in here I could type something and all of this text would then be saved to our search string. Okay, that's already it. It's as easy as it gets. Now if you want to, for example, show search results then there is also a very uh, easy way to do that. Let me prepare another example here. So let's just say um, private let names. Let's just create a simple array of strings. Let's say, I don't know, uh, let's add Mark, let's add Chris, and let's add Tony, and maybe also let's add Paul in here. Alright, and now instead of iterating um, over the uh, random numbers here or over the numbers here, let's just iterate over our names. Now we also need to provide an ID of self and now this obviously isn't a number so we should change um, the variable name here. Let's just call it name and let's grab the name here as well. Oops, I missed the argument label. Alright, like this. And now if I hit resume, then all of these rows will uh, get away. Okay, let's also change this to name. Okay, as you can see, pretty easy. Okay, and now in here, um, we want to filter the name. So what we can do is, for example, check if the search string is empty. Then we want to show all the names. And otherwise, we want to show the names filtered by let's say um, dollar zero dot contains the search string all right now if we uh, hit zoom here then you can see in the beginning we can see all the names and if i now for example search for mark then only mark is shown if i go back then everything is shown again i think this is a very easy example to understand how to add a search bar to your project if you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.